हर एक रिजन्स overview In the immediate aftermath of the earthquake Tuka went to the nearest train station and found many people who had evacuated as well On the spot she used her mobile phone to call home but it didn't connect Tuka is a little addicted to mobile phones couldn't judge anything and sat there clutching her phone she sat there for a while and then suddenly her phone vibrated and she was startled and almost let go of her hand still when she looked at the screen it was an incoming email She wondered about the incoming email and saw its contents but it was a game invitation. Why at such a time? A little angry, the next moment she remembered. The game site is alive. There's a message hoard. She quickly looked at the game site on her mobile phone and it opened easily, so she hurriedly looked at the message board. There was still nothing written on the message board, but she smiled a little relieved that she felt connected to someone. She wrote to all her friends on the site asking for information and waited for a response. She waited for a while and then the information gradually came in. She was able to learn that the epicenter was off the coast of Tohoku, that a tsunami warning had been issued, and that people had already evacuated. What surprised her the most was that some of her friends who reported the earthquake were people living in Aichi and Wakayama prefectures, and the earthquake were transmitted to places far from Tohoku. When she was gathering information on her mobile phone, tsunami warning has been issued, and the Pacific coast is in danger. She heard people around they saying Tuka got scared, looked around once and then went up the stairs to the second floor of the station where many people were also gathered. On the second floor of the station, some people stood dumbfounded, others sat looking at their cell phone screens, and they all looked confused. Tuka also sat down in such a corner of the crowd, and looked around dimly. Ryoji arrived at home, the surroundings were calm, and on the way to his home, even looking around, there was no change, and he rushed to his room first. There was no change in the room, and he turned on the TV to see if there was any earthquake information. The first 
first to jump into his eyes was a flashing tsunami warning at the bottom of the screen. When he hurriedly changed the channel to NHK, the announcer was calling for evacuation. On the screen was an image of a wave hitting a key somewhere and being blown up to a considerable height. Next, a video of a tsunami pouring into a port town. A tsunami on a larger scale than the tsunami he had seen earlier had struck Tohoku. through the screen, he could not feel the reality by all means, he was looking into the screen as if he were watching a movie. As time passed, new images began to appear one after another, and the images were horrific. The black turbid stream engulfed cars, homes, and people. The screams of people and the shouts of run away are heard, and it looks like a picture of hell. He was distressed by this terrible scene, and he turned his face down and closed his eyes. It's been about an hour since Tuka sat down on the second floor of the station. Then, what the hell is this? A man gave a voice. She looked in the direction of the voice and saw a man open his laptop in a surprised expression. The people around him were surprised by the man's reaction and looked into the man's computer screen. story ends. The next update will be on Monday. Please look forward to. Please subscribe to the channel. See you again.